Welcome to the Eclipse instructional video series. Eclipse is the City of Philadelphia's public portal for licenses, permits, and inspections. Applying for a zoning permit. In this video we're going to review how to apply for a zoning permit in Eclipse. When preparing to apply for a permit, check out the city's website and read the requirements. Also be prepared to use the screen capture feature on your PC or tablet. Log in to your Eclipse account by visiting the Eclipse website. Enter the email address and password associated with your account and select sign in. If you do not have an Eclipse account, refer to the creating an account in Eclipse video at phila.gov forward slash li. On your home page, search for the permits and certificates section and click apply for a permit or get a certificate. The apply for a permit page will appear. Many different permit types are listed on this page. More information on permits. Visit the Permits, Violations, and Licenses page at philadelphia.gov. In this video example, we'll be applying for a zoning permit. To apply for a zoning permit, scroll down to the Zoning section and select the appropriate option. The Permit screen will appear. Note that a unique application number is automatically generated. This number and the status of your application will be visible at the top of the screen throughout your application process. Remember, you can leave your application at any time and it will be saved as a draft and will be accessible to you in the future. Let's start completing the application information. Be sure to fill out all fields that are marked with a red asterisk as they are required. If a field is not required, it may not pertain to you, so if you're not sure, skip it. Identify your relationship to the permit. Most applicants are owner or professional tradesperson such as a design professional, contractor, or expediter. If you select professional tradesperson, a drop-down list will appear that shows all licenses eligible to serve as applicant that are associated with this account. In this example, we are going to select owner. Next. Identify the licensed design professional responsible for the project by using the search feature. Be sure to search for the name of the design professional and not the name of the design firm. If you can't find the correct design professional in the search, select no. A field will appear where you can enter the design professional's name, company, address, email, and phone number. The information to include is specified in the blue dot. So check here if you are not sure. These blue dots show up throughout the application process and always contain helpful information. Be sure to check them often. Choose the type of work to be done and the occupancy type for this permit. If there is a project associated with this address, use the search feature to find and select the project. If your project is phased, you should consider establishing a city-managed project to streamline reviews. Please visit phila.gov forward slash li for more information on this service. Next, provide a brief description of the work to be done. This description is used by licensing and inspections department employees to quickly understand the scope of work. Choose your review type. Remember, review times and fees change with each type, and easy standard applications are only applicable for select work. Check the blue dot or philid.gov forward slash li for more information. For our example, we'll choose standard review. On the locations page, click select parcels to open the address's pop-up window. After reading the guidance, enter an address for this permit and click search. Check mark the correct address or addresses in the parcel and click select. Please note, your application may include multiple addresses, so use the search again to add more. Adding multiple addresses causes a drop-down list to appear. Use it to select the primary address. If needed, identify the specific location within the structure or on the property here. 
The owner information shown is based on the address selected above. If the information is outdated, select the checkbox and add the correct owner information. This change applies only to this permit. You may be required to resubmit this owner information with subsequent permit applications until the city's address database is updated with the current owner information. For our example, we will not change the owner. On the property owner contact page, if the subject property is owned by a company, please check the box and enter the contact information of any natural person with more than 49% equity interest in the property. If no individual has such an interest, provide the contact information of at least two natural persons with the largest equity interest. Then select the next button. This property information screen is read only and shows the potential impacts of your permit based on the address entered earlier on the location screen. These impacts may trigger prerequisite approvals or additional permit documents. When you're done reviewing, click Next. Under the Review Questions header, enter the area of Earth Disturbance. Then, review the text under the Other Department Reviews header and select the checkboxes for the reviews that apply to your particular zoning permit. Please note, errors on this page may result in delays to your permit application. Please review the information carefully. In our example, we plan to hang a business sign over a public sidewalk and cut a curb for loading. So, we select the Philadelphia Art Commission review checkbox because we meet the condition of projecting signs over any public right-of-way and we select the Philadelphia Streets Department Review because the curb work is within the public right-of-way. If applicable, click Add Bonus to add bonuses. For information on zoning code bonuses, click the blue dot. Check the box if your project requires civic design review. Then click Next. On a previous page, we selected Philadelphia Streets Department Review as required. Enter the applicable streets review application number in the box and click on the magnifying glass to populate the related permit. If you do not have a streets review application, you can apply for the streets review by clicking the blue icon and completing the streets review application. The streets review will automatically link to your zoning permit application. Here, you will upload your documents. Check the right-hand column to know whether or not a document is required. Optional documents may still be necessary for your permit type. Check our website for a complete list of permit application documents. Required documents are based on information you included earlier in your zoning permit application. In our example, application development bonus documentation and a site plan are listed as required. Write down or take a screenshot of the documents you need to upload. Click Upload Files to open the file folder on your computer. Choose the PDF files to upload. Please be sure to upload PDF type files. Select the document type from the drop down menu. ePlans are digital copies of building plans provided for work done under permits. If you use the standard sheet naming convention for these electronic plans, all sheets within the file will auto sort based on name. The applicant will automatically be included to receive email notifications related to this permit. From this page, you can adjust notifications, add additional contacts, or invite co-applicants. Check the blue dots for more information on contacts and co-applicants. Co-applicants have full access to the application and are granted the same rights that you do to make changes to the application. Invite a co-applicant by giving them the association code. They can use the code in their Eclipse account homepage to associate with the permit. Please note, each code may only be used once. Warnings do not prevent application submission, 
but they must be addressed before permit issuance. Errors, unlike warnings, do need to be fixed before you could submit your application. After taking note or a screenshot of the errors you need to address, select the word fix to navigate back to the page and correct the item. Use your error list and correct any errors as you progress through your application. Let's fix our error by adding our required document. Continue selecting next until you reach the legal declaration page. Read the text carefully and check the box to confirm. Then select next. This page shows only the application fee. You will pay the remainder of the fee when the permit is issued. Select Pay Fees and Submit Application. This will transfer you to the City of Philadelphia's Eclipse Application Payment Gateway. Follow the on-screen instructions to make your payment. Electronic check, credit card, and debit card are accepted forms of payment. Please note, surcharges may apply based on the payment type. Rates are subject to change. Once payment has been completed, hit the Continue button to be transferred back to Eclipse. The confirmation screen shows when your permit has been successfully submitted. Remember, you don't have your permit yet. Your application will now be reviewed by city staff. Please note, if any required information is missing or incomplete, you'll be notified through the My Activities tab in your Eclipse account. To view the information and status for this application, select, click here, to be transferred to the permit record. The details section includes all the details we submitted for this permit application. Review the page and all tabs for information related to the permit and available actions such as withdrawing your permit or requesting inspections. Be sure to check back often as information may be updated as your application moves through the city process. Thanks for watching. Check out the other Eclipse videos, FAQs, and resources at www.phila.gov forward slash li.